Right, hello everyone, welcome to the second lesson for symmetry. In today's lesson, we're going to identify lines of symmetry. Right, just to quickly recap what is, a what is symmetry and what is a line of symmetry. Basically, a symmetric figure is divided into equal halves by the line of symmetry. So this was what we learned about in the first video. Okay, and that's not all. What's important is also the, is also the two halves must fit exactly. So this is the line of symmetry for this symmetric figure. This line divides these, this figure into two equal halves and these two equal halves when I fold, it actually fits exactly. So this is what we've learned about symmetry. Now for today's lesson, you will actually need to make use of your worksheet. So you should have this already, this um, worksheet on identifying lines of symmetry. Now this is where you will paste your shapes in the boxes provided. So this is what we're going to work on now. Okay, so you should have this worksheet as well. What you need to do is to cut out these four shapes and you should get something like this. Okay, I'm using yellow so that it's a bit brighter. For yours, it should be white. Okay, so let's first make use of this shape. Okay, the triangle here. And you will also need two things, a green and a blue pen. Okay, now... So the first thing you need to do is to identify the line of symmetry and you'll need your blue pen. Okay, So I want you to try and fold this paper such that the two halves will meet. And based on the first video, you should know that we can actually fold it like this and these two halves will meet. Okay, So fold it like this and my two halves will meet. So this folded line here is my line of symmetry. So I want you to use blue taking a ruler to draw that line of symmetry okay you can either draw a dotted line or you can draw a solid line it's up to you all right so blue indicates this is my line of symmetry now i want you to find another line that is not the line of symmetry so now i'm trying to find a line that is not the line of symmetry so let's try let's fold this like this okay so it's up to you. There are many, many other lines that are not the line of symmetry. When I fold it like this, you see the two halves doesn't meet exactly. So this is not my line of symmetry. So for that, I will use my green pen. All right. And I will draw. So this is not my line of symmetry. So for this triangle, blue, this is my line of symmetry. This green is not my line of symmetry. Okay, I'm going to show you another example. This is my diamond shape. Okay, and so first thing, let's find our line of symmetry. So fold this like that. And you will see that, oh, it fits exactly. The two halves meet exactly. So this is my line of symmetry. So taking my ruler, taking my pen. Remember blue pen for line of symmetry, green pen for not line of symmetry. So this is my line of symmetry. Now I notice that I can also fold it like that. So there are actually more than one lines of symmetry. So I want you to try and identify all the lines of symmetry. Okay, so like that. This will be equal half. And so this is my line of symmetry as well. Okay, so this is my line of symmetry. So I have two lines of symmetry. Now let me try and fold it elsewhere. Okay, now if I fold it like that, Okay, if I fold it like this, right, meeting the middle. Sorry, if I fold it like this, so you see this does not meet exactly. So I want you to use green to indicate that this is not a line of symmetry. Okay, so I've already shown you the tri triangle and the diamond. So the diamond looks like that, triangle looks like that. Okay. So again, recap blue line for lines of symmetry, green line for not line of symmetry. Now for the line of symmetry, I want you to identify all of them. For the green line, which is not the line of symmetry, you just need to find or show me one. So these two I've done. Your job now is to actually do this too. Okay, so find me the lines of symmetry for this rectangle as well as this uh, figure here. Okay, now once you're done with it, 
you will need to paste, use a glue, paste the shapes in, all right, and bring it to class next day. And we will talk more about it in class. Right? Okay, see you back in class.